in the last lecture we prepared our development workflow for webpack by setting the mode to development and this tells webpack that currently we are in the development process and we want webpack to optimize our application in such a way that it is development friendly so if i go to vs code here we have set the mode to development and when we have set the mode to development in that case the bundled file will not get generated in the disk it will be generated in the memory and when the bundled file has been generated in the memory there you will see that we have the same names which we used in our code so basically we created an instance of user class and we are logging those users so if you remember when we were creating the bundle there we have shortened variable names so it was like e1 e2 in that way and in development mode the bundled file which gets generated there the variable names will not get shortened that's why you are seeing this user here and also the white spaces and new lines will not be removed so in development mode we don't have a lot of optimization but when we set the mode to production that means when we want to run our application in production mode the bundled file which will get generated for our application code there we will have lot of optimization in order to improve the performance of the application so once the development is complete and when we want to deploy our code to production there we want webpack to optimize our code in such a way that it is proper for production development for the production optimization we might not want to enable debugging and developer friendly error messages there we want to show user friendly error messages so for production deployment of the code which will be served to the end user we typically want a different workflow and for that we will not touch the current webpack config file instead we are going to create a new config file so in this project folder i am going to create a new config file and you can name this config file anything because you will have to tell explicitly to webpack that for the production you are going to use this file so that's why you can name this file anything i am going to call it webpack.config.prod.js okay and inside that again we are going to write some configuration and in order to save some time what i will do is i'll copy the configuration from here from this webpack config.js and i'll paste it inside this webpack config prod.js and there we will do the changes which is required so first change is obviously we want to change the mode to production then here we don't need this public path because in case of production the bundled file will get generated in the disk so we don't need to specify this then here we can set dev tool to none because we also don't want to debug our code when we are going to deploy it in production and now we are going to add some more configuration for production so for that i am going to add this plugin property which is going to be an array so plugin are extra dependencies you can add to your production workflow which will basically be applied to entire project so when we use module and there when we specify the rules it is applied on per file basis so this rule will be applied only for .ts files then if you have any other rule for example let's say for css file then that rule will be applied only for css file but plugins will be applied to the general workflow so we want to add a plugin which will automatically delete everything in the dist folder before new output file is written there currently if you see in this dist folder we have this bundle.js file so now whenever this file gets compiled we want this bundle file to be deleted and new bundle file to be generated in the same folder so we want to delete the older bundled file and we want to create a newly generated bundled file with a new code and this will make sure that we always have latest and most recent output in the dist folder for that we are going to install a new package from npm so here let me go and let me stop this dev server let me clear everything from the terminal by typing crs command and here we are going to install a package and we want to install it we want to use it as a dev dependency so for that i'm using this hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev and the name of the plugin is clean webpack plugin okay so we are going to install this plugin let's press enter so the plugin has been installed let's go to package.json and there we should see this clean webpack plugin package installed so now what we need to do is let's go to webconfig.prod.js and there let's create a variable let's call it 
clean plugin you can name it anything and here we are going to require that package which we have just installed and the name of the package is clean webpack plugin okay and now here what we are going to do is here we are going to create an instance of this clean plugin and on that we are going to call a constructor function which is clean webpack plugin okay so this is a constructor function and we don't need the semicolon here and this is all you need to do here in this prod configuration file so let me save this file and finally in the package.json we will tell webpack to use this configuration basically this webpack config.prod.js file when we are running our application in production mode and for that here in the build we will say webpack hyphen hyphen config space and then the name of this config file which is webpack.config.prod.js let's save the changes here and now we are going to use npm run build because now we want to run this application using this command where we want to set the config to webpack config.prod.js file so that's why i'm using this build script if i press enter we have an error so it says failed to load webpack config.prod.js and it says the error is clean plugin dot clean webpack plugin is not a constructor okay so here it should be clean plugin i want to remove this one now let me save the changes so basically here i used a variable where c was in lower case but when i was calling this clean webpack plugin constructor i was calling it on clean plugin with c in uppercase okay so let me go ahead and let me again run the previous command which is npm run build where do we have the error it says configuration has an unknown property plugin okay it should be plugins let me save the changes again and let's again rerun it now let's see what is the error let's see if we have any error here dev tool should match pattern inline hidden eval so there is something wrong with this dev tool here let me actually remove this dev tool from here okay let me save the changes let's rerun it again so at least we are getting what are the errors we have made and we are able to fix those so now it says the webpack has compiled our application successfully so now this is the bundle.js file which you will deploy with the source folder so basically you're going to deploy all this code in production with this bundle.js file which is going to keep all the typescript code which has been compiled to javascript and it has been bundled into this single file and then you have the source folder where you have all your .ts files you have your index.html file, package.json file, style.css file, and other files, other configuration files. So this is the folder, except this node modules, you will deploy in production. So in this lecture, we talked about the production workflow when you're using Webpack. And I hope now you understand how you can work with Webpack in your project. So in this section, we had a very high level overview of what is Webpack and how we can use it in our project and how we can use it for production overflow as well as development overflow. This is all from this lecture and from this section. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.